Welcome to Regular Girls. I'm Stacy. everyone. I just wanted to let you know that today's episode is sponsored by Chatbooks. Chatbooks is this incredible app that automatically creates photo books from your Instagram, Facebook, or camera roll. Because if you're anything like me, you just have thousands of photos on your iPhone that you are never going to do anything with. And Chatbooks changes that. You get 60 pages for only $8. And you get free shipping in the U.S. Plus, you, there is an option, guys, where every 60 photos you post, Chatbooks will automatically print you a book. It's incredible. I just made one for Vic and Burger. And um, I am now very obsessed because did I mention 60 pages, $8. You can also get custom books available in six by six or eight by eight size. And they say love it or get your money back, which guess what? I love it. And I'm not giving my book back. All right. Try, try me. So you can get your first series book free with our promo code girls you can also go to chatbooks.com slash podcast and use our promo girls if you do please let us know i want to know about the books you're making because i'm a creep anyways enjoy the rest of the episode and thank you chatbooks yeah Yeah. hey man hey welcome to regular regular world Regular world, the two regular girls are in Canada. Everyone, deal with it. We're so regular right now. It's I actually feel, um, I, f- I always like joke before I come up to Canada being like, ooh, I'm going to go up to Canada and regain all my strengths and my powers. And yeah. I do feel like that happens. I feel like I've really hit my stride when I'm in Canada. I get all my, oh. my juices flowing. Absolutely. Every time I was in LA being like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what, like, I don't know how I feel. My friends would be like, go back to Canada, get your confidence and then come back. Back. And it's so true. You just get like your mojo back. Yeah, you get you get like your mojo back, and like it's like you and I have talked before about like how mm-hmm. like when you don't know where things are, or like I just yeah. like I know where everything is here. And even though I will say, I mean, I haven't been up in Toronto. I guess since we were here with Survivor Series like last November, and I yeah. didn't have a ton of time to really hang out. So now that I've actually been here for a couple of days and have been able to like hang out, I'm like the city has changed a lot. There's a, a lot, lot of new buildings and like new shops. Like it's crazy. Oh yeah, I'm using a Presto card now to what go is on the that? T- Okay, so it's a it's a card that you can put money on so you don't have to pay for a full metro pass and you can use the go train and the go buses which is what I used to go home and TTC. Great. Oh my god, forever changed. How easy. What How, what a what a life-changing thing. I I literally feel like Carrie Bradshaw just showing my green little card, not that she had that, but I mean the nuance of her, I'm feeling. Sure, yeah. I mean, she was picking up her life in the city and just owning it and nobody could stop her and nobody can stop you. No, I'm recording right now while sitting in a rocking chair. I dare you to come at me. It won't <laughs> Work you for are you. in a rocking chair. Is there sweaters <laughs> thrown over the back of it too? What is that? A jacket? No, it's, it's a gross jacket. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. I'm sitting in a very <laughs> dirty hotel room because John and I. Uh, so we've been in this hotel room since Sunday. Okay. Um, and I also have three weeks worth of clothes in my bag, yeah. which obviously means they're all over the floor. Um, yeah. And yesterday, John, he's like, he's so obsessed with mountain biking right now. So he's like, really? I'm going mountain biking. I'm like, it's not really much of a thing in Toronto, but I mean, yeah, go for it. So he had to go all the way up to the annex to rent a bike, then rode his bike up to like no. North York. He, he was gone for like five hours. He came back. He's like, that was the worst. I'm like, yeah, because people don't do that in Toronto, really. I mean, like you could just like bop around the city but i don't think that's gonna satiate what you're trying to do here why would he bike to north york because he's crazy i he was like looking at the maps and also like, his phone doesn't work up here so it's like he he went to like he had to go to like three different tim hortons to get on their wi-fi to see if he was like on the right oh track. poor guy my god i know poor thing so anyways we also had a full bike in this hotel room the other day that's there's just so like funny. so much unnecessary stuff there's so many versions of ketchup flavored things there's ketchup pringles ketchup, really uh those like rice crisp things yeah there's so much crap oh my god well i have like not been indulging in the ketchup thing as i've never been really a fan but wow um but like pizza nova dip dip sauce <sighs> in I my pizza done that yet you haven't done it no i haven't Renee. had pizza yet and it, i mean it was kind of on my list but honestly you know what i might do i might just go to a grocery store and grab the pizza pizza dipping sauce yeah. to bring home 
Oh, that's that's a thousand percent what you need to do. Yeah, I need to do that. And the only other thing that I haven't really got to do um, was get poutine. But so yesterday, do you ever go to the horseshoe? Oh yeah, love the horseshoe. It's great. So we went there yesterday, and it's like that's like a place too. Like John likes in the city, so I'm like, great, let's hit up the horseshoe. It's fantastic. So we go there. Have you ever used the A and W window inside though? Uh, no, but I absolutely would without <laughs> thinking twice. It's the best. We sit down. Like, I'm like, I'm going to have a Caesar because I'm in Canada. Yes. Give me a Caesar. Yeah. So then I ordered like a veggie burger, which by the way, their veggie burgers are very good. Really? Oh, very okay. Good, good to know. Like, exceptionally good. Good to know. Um, but it's like for people that, I mean, so for people that don't know, which is a majority of the people listening to this, the horseshoe is like a real old school like dive bar, but it's like a concert venue in the back, but it's like. It's yeah. a bit of a dump in the most charming way. Oh, yeah. Um, but they are, like, beside them is an A&W, and at the back of the bar, there's just, like, a drive through window where you order your own A&W, and this man just lifts up the grate and <laughs> hands you your food. <laughs> I love that. It was such a great experience, but I did get a poutine with that just to try, but it wasn't worth it, so I didn't indulge. I need to get a better poutine, but their veggie oh. burger was great. Are you going to go to Smokes? you got to go to Smokes. I might go to Smokes. Yeah, I've got to go meet my mom and my aunt for lunch today, so that'll be kind of, like, my last moment to really kind of get the things that I want to get um, yeah. food-wise in Canada. Brendan's going crazy with it, and it's like, well, you know, like, your metabolism is fast. I'd still like to fit in my jeans. I'm sure. so puffy and bloated from all the food we've been eating. But I really want to get to um, Pizza Libretto, which is really uh, good. That's where you guys I, should go for lunch. I forgot that Pizza Libretto existed. Dude, like, go there. I love it. It's so, so good. But I was driving up to meet one of my girlfriends the other day, and I passed it. And I was like, oh, my God, Pizza Libretto. Yeah. Between that and I also love Enoteca Sociale, which they're oh. like... The, Oh, it's so good. Sister restaurant or whatever. Uh, I, it's they just have the best stuff. I do feel like this was a good. I feel very accomplished in this trip. That I feel like uh, I feel like John got a better taste of the city than maybe he's been able to before. Oh, and does he like it? Yeah. No, he really likes it. Good. Um, yeah, I think. Oh, so we were at this bar. There's a bar called Lipstick and Dynamite, which uh, is like it's like a wrestling movie with like Mae Young and Fabulous Moolah. But we didn't even know that. We were just walking down Queen Street. We're like, let's just pop in this spot, and it was like again right. like a real weird divey place. They were playing Howard the Duck. Really? On, like they were playing that movie in there. Um, so we're in there and it was like dead. There was like us and like another couple and like another pair of people. Um, and the, our waitress leaves the bar area and like goes over to a table, fills up a shot glass with breast milk and no. gave it to one of the customers that like wanted it for like the nutrients. And we're like, what the fuck is happening? What? Where were you? It was like Queen and... Um, Gosh, we were, like, not far from, like, the Drake. Really? Yeah. It, I mean, the bar was cool. But we were like, whoa, cool. <laughs> I would have been like, absolutely not. <laughs> I embraced it. I just saw her, like, pull out her boob and, like, had the shot oh, closet and then handed it off. And I was like, wait, what's wait. happening here? So Please wait, explain, were... explain, uh, explain oh. yourself. I said that's so weird. Explain <laughs> yourself. I thought you meant a waitress. Like they had that on tap. Like if you wanted breast milk, you could have it. <laughs> Not a girl who was breastfeeding who was like, yo, you want some of this? That's pretty badass. But I thought it was like on the menu and I was like, get the hell out of there. Oh, on the menu that's full. I mean, I, I guess what's the difference? That you're um, still drinking somebody else's breast milk, but oh, um, totally. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, very interesting. So, just, anyways, yeah, we witnessed that. That was kind of cool. Oh my god! Well, I, I just went. I went to um. What is that bar? Oh god. Um, we went to Raw, uh, as you know, as uh, mm -hmm. and I. We had to go to all of our favorite bars upon getting there. And I was where just did like, you go? The best. What'd you hit? We went to Queen Mother first because they have really good. Uh, calamari mm. it's really good, good but then pad we went thai to too. yeah their pad thai is really good but then we went to um it's on spadina right near fresh and it's like a weird oh, dive wide bar. open the wide little open. skinny spot yeah, yeah, yeah. wide open <laughs> but I, we i was dying laughing because i used to go there when i was at second city a bunch because it's like everything's four dollars and you're like everything and they're like everything <laughs> i went there one time we had a rap party when i did a tom green music video i was oh like in there God. with tom green <laughs> Wide opens a skis bar, but I was like, tr it's just, it's so Toronto. I was like, I was in love. It and was so like great. And it's like 10 feet wide, like literally. Oh, tiny, <laughs> tiny, like graffitied tables. It's just like, oh, it's, it's, it's awesome. just so nice. Yeah. I love it. 
It's been great. I went to Comedy Bar. I did some shows. It was very fun. Oh, good. That's it's yes. nice to be able to get yeah get up on stage, do some stuff. Oh yeah, live it oh, out. Yeah. So n- you know, needless to say, I'm in a rocking chair, living my life. And you just went to the gym because you're healthy and you're living the better life. No, no, I went to the gym because um, well, I just wanted to get out of the way, but also like yeah, I've been super done. We got so we landed. And I we were started in Halifax, which was actually really lovely. I haven't been to Halifax in a really long time. Right, you went to Halifax. Halifax is great. Yeah, so we started in Halifax. John had a show there, but I didn't go to the show, right. and I was like, I'm gonna go do some Canada shit. And yeah. I went to this really cool restaurant bar. Um, gosh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it was on my Instagram though. Um, but oh, the I oysters. Had, yeah, oh my God, this oyster. I just had one, so I'm not a huge oyster person. I guess I am now because this oyster changed my life. Well, of course. Um, it, it was like, uh, so she had the oysters out, and they were like out at the bar, and she was grating fresh horseradish to put on them. Yum. I've never seen that before. It was a game changer. And then I ate an entire lobster. It was Whoa. so indulgent and awesome. Yeah, so I've been eating um, indulgently just because I'll get off of it tomorrow. Well, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna do pizza libretto tonight. Like, it's just gonna have to happen. Um, they have a mushroom blue cheese pizza that I just Ugh. need to have. I'm pretty sure. Yes, uh, pizza libretto is amazing. It's so good. But I, I like oysters too. But only. Um, uh, but in Halifax, it's like really good seafood. It's like you, when you go to LA and you have sushi, and then you go back here to Toronto, and you're like, ah, probably not. Yeah, no it's offense. not the same thing. But when I was in Halifax, it was so worth it. Um, but then it was really cool. So we were in Halifax, and then we drove out to um, my grand. Well, now just my grandfather um, mm-hmm. lives in Picto, which is like two an hour and a half or so outside of Halifax. Uh, but it was so cool to get to like go see him and like have John meet my grandfather and like because oh, we just so never nice. get out there. And like it was cool to see him. But you know he's got um, he's he has uh, like Alzheimer's, so that's. Yeah, it's tough. But he was actually really good. I I wasn't sure if he was going to remember who I was, but he knew who I was. He knew who John was. Really? And it was so funny because, like, we get there, and he really just wanted to hang out with John. So he was, like, he took him and was, like, showing him, like, all of his medals he won. And he was, like... He, so he was like, you know, giving him the whole show of his medals and stuff. He was in the army showing him like all the like accolades that he's had. But yeah. then he ran out of things to show him and just was like, come see my shed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He, went, well, he showed him the gate. <laughs> that's come nice. check out my gate. But it was cool. It was a really nice trip. I loved oh. it. It was so good to get to see him. And my aunt was out there and just to have John meet them. And, you know, especially because we're married now. It's like, yeah, this is my husband. Isn't that crazy? Cool. Yeah. It was a oh, lovely trip. that's so nice. It was great. Yeah. Now we're, this is the tail end of the trip uh, today. Uh, but now yeah, you're it's been really great. Where are you next? Where are you next now? We're going to Maine tomorrow. Bangor, Ooh. Maine. Yeah, which I guess they still have a lot of seafood there. So I might have a lobster roll. We'll see. I mean, it's seafood. There's like not a lot of calories in that as yeah. far as I'm concerned. I agree. I'm with you on that. It's barely uh, anything. Uh, I did want to tell you that I was talking to my friend Audrey yesterday, uh, and we she was saying that she listens to the podcast. Hi, Audrey. Um, what up, and Audrey? Sh- she agrees about our um, concept of um, a bottle of wine being a serving, and I just it thought, is. well, confirmed, and let me tell you, I have been enjoying those servings since being back as well. Uh, but everyone else here in Toronto, I think, agrees with me on that and yeah. our stance on a full bottle, so it's, it's going to be nice. I think that that should be... St- I feel like when you open the bottle... I mean, look, if you've got something to do the next day. Sure, then don't. Depending. I mean, listen, if I don't have to be somewhere till noon, I'm okay. (laughs) I can live off that bottle and be okay. Yes. Which maybe says something about my liver, perhaps, but... It means that it's badass. That's another episode. It's a whole other episode. And since the last podcast, I have been getting tweets of people being like, I love vodka root beers. What are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) Actually, my hotel yesterday, I walked in. They're like, it's root beer float day. And I was like, I can't. Hold on. (laughs) Something has happened. There's been a shift in the universe because since we talked about root beer uh, vodkas, literally everywhere I go, my aunt came into the room when I was back home in Alliston. Um, with a with a pop or a McDonald's cup, and she's like, "You guys want some root beer?" And I'm like, "What's happening? 
<laughs> Which actually, I feel like I missed an opportunity yesterday at the horseshoe because A and W was right there. I yes. should have got a root beer and asked for a shot of vodka to put in it. I messed Ugh. up. But it would have been weird and gross. And then you had that in the poutine. It would have all been like just absolutely no thank you. Yeah, but you know what? I think that that's kind of what I've signed up for this week. I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the thing, and to. I'll worry about it later. I, you I need will worry to. about it tomorrow. Well, also in Toronto, you walk all the time. So I was like, well, I'm burning like a billion calories. Yes. I'm pretty sure. 100%. I agree. You're already you're already in the minus. Oh. oh you're in the minus. Thank you. Uh, we went to Kings of Leon last night. They were pretty How, good. Were they? Yeah, they sounded great. Um, I don't know a ton of their new stuff. Like I listened to their new album and it's, it's all right. But yeah, they sounded great. It was a cool show. It was fun to just like... Go hang out at the old, well, what used to be the Molson Amphitheater, now the Budweiser stage. But yeah, it was great. It was fun. I need to start going to concerts. I know I say this every podcast, but I always see your videos and you're like Kings of Leon or like whatever. And I'm like, why aren't I like, I need to partake. Yeah, concerts are great. They're so much fun. I mean, everything there is like, you know, it's like when you go to like a hockey game or a baseball game. It's like everything once you're inside is like expensive and whatever. But um, yeah, it's fun to just oh, go see a live fun. show and like see people in their element doing their thing. And yeah, it's it's really fun. They sounded really good. I've seen them like I saw them, uh, gosh, like five years ago or something. Whenever like that really? Sex on Fire album came oh, out, that yes, was when yes, I first yes. knew who they were. And then I saw them out in Hamilton and they were great. Um, that made really? me really like them. But yeah, they were they were pretty good live. It makes sense because it's like I'm such a crowd. Like I'm so influenced by being in a crowd. Um, like <laughs> I at Raw was doing like rock and roll hands. Like who am I? I saw someone doing it and I started doing it. That's and then, amazing. Oh, yeah. And then my friend Jason texted me and was like, that's your hand doing the rock and roll hand and Danielle. <laughs> And I was like, no. Guilty. Uh, yeah, yeah. You give me like a draft beer and the roar of a crowd. I'm going to enjoy pretty much anything. Yeah, you got to get into it. You got to feel it. Actually, yesterday we were laughing so hard when we first got into the show. There was this couple in front of us and they just like had their arms around each other. Too both much. just like tapping each other's butts to the music. And then the guy's leg got very fluid and he was just like rocking his leg no. around. We were dying watching them. It was so funny. They were I just can't. like feeling the music. It was great. It was so funny. First of all, just absolutely no thank you. <laughs> no. no. No, no, no. Not interested. Wait, Not when you interested. When I, you want, I want to observe. When you and John go out to dinner, you guys don't like sit on the same side, do you? Oh, God, no. Well, you okay. know what? Usually we're like sit at the bar and order food. So we technically are beside each other. Wow. Yeah, we You're usually order our food there. Why? I, I, You know what? This is so weird. Because So when we first started dating, I always thought it was so weird that he wanted to sit at the bar. And I never understood it. I'm like, can we just sit at a table? Like, I don't get it. Yeah. But it's because of his, like, legs and stuff. Because his legs are so long. It's easier for him to sit at a high top. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So we just do that. I know it's so random and weird. But um, it, I don't think it's weird. Like, I just feel like when people ask to sit at the bar, they're, like, the most confident people. I'm like, oh, they've been here before. Like, they know what's up. <laughs> yeah, but you also have, like, a total phobia of walking in <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay, here's the thing. I went home and... Um, my uh, parents we were at my parents house and then uh, I was like Brendan really wanted wings and I'm like okay let's go get some wings and there's this wing place in my hometown that's just literally around the corner like you can walk there and it's like in a strip mall and I was like panicked because I was like it's gonna be filled with like like <laughs> I don't know like people from Alliston like I don't know oh my but it, it <laughs> No, not that they're bad people, but it's like, you know, be like, it's like a local spot, which, you yeah. know, is like my nightmare. And yeah. Brendan's like, no, this is great. So we go. And um, sure enough, I open the door. You could hear a pin drop. Everyone turns and looks at me. And I instantly <laughs> got diarrhea. I was like, Ugh. and then she's like, she's like, hey, hon, you guys want to sit at the bar? I was like, table, table, booth, booth, something with a wall. Table in the corner, in the back, <laughs> shut off the lights. Everybody get out of here. Look away from me. Do you have any kind yeah. of anxiety medicine, then, a.k.a. a drink? Oh, totally. And then I was like, oh, and then Brendan ordered a moose head. And she's like, and then she's talking to us, which she was so nice, but I was so panicked. And she's like, every time you order a moose head, you get to enter to win a free guitar. So she's like, I'll get you a pen and a thing. And I was like, that's We're adorable. Not I know. And I was like, we are not ordering any more moose heads. <laughs> <laughs> We're not participating in this. Leave me alone. I don't want any more interactions. Yeah. Brendan's like, oh, I wouldn't mind another guitar. She's like, oh, you got a guitar? I was like, we're not friends. We're, we're not going to be all friends. <laughs> 
It's like the nicest woman. I was so panicked. Oh God! But the wings were good. The wings were good. Let me just say. I like say. a good wang. I'm, I'm yeah. into a wang. Actually, we're, yeah, we're going out to some lunch place today, but uh, I might have an oyster again. I don't know. I know it's in Toronto and it might not be as good, but it's it's on my radar. Oh, I um, had some nice oysters in the East End. If that's where you're thinking. So here's the thing. Yeah, please. We've had a good catch up. We're about almost 20 minutes into the episode. Oh, Let's wow. Switch gears. Let's switch the gears. Here's the problem. Chris Pratt, Anna Ferris. <gasps> yes. I can't live with this. I am having such a hard okay. time imagining a world where Chris Pratt and Anna... Is it Anna Ferris? Am I saying her name it's wrong? Anna, it's Anna, which is insane. Well, maybe that's why they're getting a divorce. But yeah. look... I'm I so upset it. about this. I was going Listen. to bed and yeah. I opened my Twitter as everybody does before they're about to fall asleep. And I was yeah. like, hold the effing yeah. phone. I'm glad what you brought hell? this up. I, I almost forgot that this happened and it rocked my world. And I was like, I can't wait to discuss this with you. Um, so thank you, you were for bringing right. it up. I, Listen, I will I was right. Uh, give credit when credit is due. You thank called you. it. You were right. I uh, took heat I'm on that fool. too. No, no, you're not the fool. It's like, I took a lot of heat when people were like, you're so like negative and you don't like love. And I was like, I'm telling you, there's trouble in paradise. You were Guys, right. You were listen, right. She, I think, and she talked about it on her podcast, which I don't really listen to, but here's a couple of things. And maybe I'm a negative Nancy, but this is where I thought things were going awry. You okay. know, when like couples are like, we're so in love and everything's so amazing and yes. it's so great. And it's like, mm, I don't know. Why you're, are you saying yeah, you're it like that? you're trying to pull the wool over. You're projecting. Totally. So uh, the couple times I would listen to her podcast, I was like, okay. But then she also really struggled with him getting really famous. Because right. she was the famous one. Then right. he got really famous. Do you think that she struggled with it because, like, she was more famous before? Or you think yeah. she, like, it's, is it like a jealousy thing or just, like, the way the spotlight? Because he, her famous versus his famous are different things. Different now. But, like, when she was the scary movie, like... Like, I remember seeing Chris Pratt and Anna Faris on Top Chef, and he looked like a schlub. Like, yeah. he was, like, his shirt was wrinkly. Like, she was from the scary movie thing. Like, she was the, the famous one. But I think it was, like, again, we don't know these people, but my no. bold assumption yeah. is that I bet you he got super famous. He got really ripped. He became the sex icon. He probably changed as a person himself, like, Ugh. enjoying this new persona. He's yeah. probably a completely different person, and she's like, F this. The whole, the whole status in our relationship has shifted, and I don't like it. That's what I think happened. Which sucks. And, I mean, I guess yeah. I get that, but, like... Yeah, you know what I saw? Um, I was like reading an article and it was like a, an, an Instagram post or a tweet that he put out of something of like, yeah, you know, as I'm here, he was like in Hong Kong or something like on a press tour and he was like, my family's yeah. here and it's so great. But he's like, but I'm up right now on like Instagram, da da. And I was like, that's your problem. Yeah. You, you, I don't know. I think a man scrolling through Instagram and the, at three o'clock in the morning oh, leads to yeah. a bit of trouble. What are you looking oh at? Who's well, DMing you? What's totally. going on? Right? Totally. Oh my god. Well, I it's they're for sure both. Like I don't think it's just her. I think it was like this he was like sprung into this new thing doing movies all the time. She's at home with uh their kid. Um and it's like, "Well, what's he doing?" And not just I'm sure he didn't cheat or whatever. I mean, have you heard rumblings? I haven't. I mm. I didn't hear rumblings of that. Um I mean, I did in the way that you hear everybody does on like National Enquirer of like, "Ooh, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. But, but like, I don't know. I, I feel like that probably wasn't it. A thing that I saw uh, though uh, because I have been doing research on this because it's so sad to me um, <laughs> that sh I think they had different ideas of what they wanted their family to be that she wanted to have another baby he didn't have the time for it he's on the road he'll be gone for months at a time filming a movie so yeah. I think it was like maybe that getting away but like I don't know. I mean, I yeah, I get, I I understand entirely that like people get busy, but like, listen, when you're a super rich mega movie star, move yeah. your whole family out with you when you're doing something. Or maybe, but she's doing that mom show. Oh shit! Right, I forgot she had a show. Exactly. I think everyone else did too. But right. uh, yeah, like I don't know who's watching that, but um, but she had that show. So I think it, I think it was like, and also like. I guess being in the industry, it's like when your other partner, when your partner is more successful or finds like this big kind of like up shoot in their career, I'm sure it's like really hard to like yeah. manage that too. Yeah. You know, I've always felt like, um, like when, like for John and I, it's like, I mean, obviously he's like a mega star 
superstar like with WWE, yeah. which is great. Um, and this was never ever an issue between him and I. But like just for me in general, like especially like when I came to WWE, it's like my role kind of changed because I had always the shows I did were always different. So right. like, I struggled with like finding like myself within WWE, and like sure. that was definitely like a hiccup for me. Uh, but he was always so great because like he he understands and he gets where like I'm coming from. But like especially like in our world too because I don't wrestle yeah I get a lot of shit from people people like you don't do anything what do you do I'm like no of course I I mean yes maybe to like you watching me do this interview or whatever but like you know my job does require me to be good at my job and use my brain but which you are sure but like it's not the kind of work that I used to do and I think I always had so much more I don't want to say more pride in that but like it was just more of a creative thing that I was doing um but uh yeah it was that was just like a different thing of like me trying to find my footing in what I was doing and he was fully living his dream that yeah, he wanted tough. to do, you know? So it's mm-hmm. like, I don't know if that makes sense at all, but I'm trying no, to does. add a personal goddamn story to this so everybody enjoy it. Enjoy it. Well, no, I, I agree with you because I think it's like if you're not like super happy with what you're doing, then all you're doing is focusing on like what you don't have. And yeah. and then you add on like having to be the main caretaker of your kid while your husband is off being like an amazingly huge action star who gets tweet at every day about how hot his butt is. Totally, I'm sure. Totally. Totally. Then you're like, oh, shit. Like, this, like my life sucks. Like, yeah. I don't want to live in like Calabasas and like hate my life. Yeah. And, you know, I think, too, from like the outside like especially like if you're not with the person doing the thing that they're doing and you're like at home it seems like they're probably doing something really cool when like in reality they're probably not he's probably just at his hotel room hanging out like reading his scripts and stuff but like like on his phone for 12 hours missing out you got that FOMO happening FOMO no it's true it's true and she and she was saying that she was really upset by all the like um infidelity claims like there were some sure. rumors going around she that really affected her and i was like ooh trouble in paradise and then yeah. it's like then you have these infidelity rumors she's like they say that that didn't happen but she didn't like them and then all of a sudden she gets this huge honking engagement ring i was like that is huge right i remember when you said that that he i was like, like upgraded mm-hmm. her ring or whatever right yeah because now he's trying to buy because they're obviously I mean look look at me taking these these bold stances but I was like they're disconnected and if I was disconnected and I was a big bulky handsome movie star I would probably just be like well maybe this like million dollar ring will just make us less disconnected yeah maybe who knows try who to knows? put that out there yeah I'd be like yeah, I don't know I mean it, it's too bad and I you know what I, I, I feel like whoever he starts to date next is going to be like the most hated woman in America so it's going to be me it's going to be me I'm going <laughs> to I'm putting it out there I'm leaving Brendan um <laughs> Uh, Sorry, bud. It's been a good run. We've had a great time together. I also bet you he's no longer like the best of times because he's super into his body now and no one has time for that. And sometimes you just want your like dude to drink beer and like go fishing and not be like, "Uh, they're going to be potatoes for dinner. Like, you know, you're like, "Uh, who cares? Just be a dude. That's like... Yeah, you just want, like, a dude to be a dude. Like, Brendan just wanted to eat his wings. And he's like, F it. I'm having poutine and wings, and I'm just being a dude about it. Great. First Give me all- my moose head. I also want this guitar. I'm just being a dude. <laughs> it's 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 just a hilarious concept of me saying, Brendan, I just need you to be a dude being a dude. He'd be like, what does that mean? <laughs> Let me look I it up on the like internet. I to John, because, like, yeah, John's, like, such a guy's guy. Like, he was just, like... Yeah. He was just going out to go for a run, and... <laughs> He's putting on his like he has on his like shoes that he also wrestles in. Oh uh, my! Aren't yeah, they like dress shoes? Huh? Or aren't they like kind of dressy shoes? No, they're like they're like combat boots. They yeah, but that's what I mean. Like they're kind of like they're like shinyish, aren't they? Uh, they're but they're like they're still like they're like tactical boots. So they're like. They're fine, but he does wear them to the gym sometimes, which is too much. But it's because he doesn't pack other shoes. Um, but anyway, so he was getting – he wore them also when he went to on his mountain bike thing, and they were covered in dirt, and he's leaving. I go, you can't go into the gym with your shoes like that. So I, I'm like, no. give me your shoe. So I had to, like, wipe it down in the shower with, like, a face cloth. It's, oh, my God. He's like, I don't know. It's great. Like, no idea. Just tracking mud everywhere. I'm like, Ugh. 
I just, I desperately need to be his personal assistant and be like, John, come on, you need to get proper shoes, bud. <laughs> <laughs> We're going would, to pay it less. Would be a, it would be an endless, uh, <laughs> yeah, it just, it wouldn't happen. It's, That's I've amazing. Tried. I've but tried, I, I've walked down that road, it's not happening. But I feel like Chris Pratt was like a dude's dude, too, like John. Like, I feel like just kind of this, like, he ate, like, squirrels. Like, his family and them would, like, catch squirrels and, like, barbecue them. And now we got too cool. You know who probably turned him? Jennifer Lawrence, pretending she's a regular girl. She's you know, like, well, I know. I mean, Do you know who she's dating? She's dating Darren Aronofsky. I saw that. Crazy. What is? Wait, did he not do the new movie she's in? That mother movie? I think so. Have you seen the trailer for it? No. Is it good? It looks pretty sick. Because here, here's the thing. I think I've said this on the podcast before, but I just, like, I get upset when I see Jennifer Lawrence booking all these roles that, like, a 30, a late 30s to 40-year-old woman should be booking. Sure. Yeah. And she, that she's just like... Does. I mean, she doesn't look like she should be dating or married to Javier Bardem. That's for Are you sure. kidding me? That's who her... I don't know if it's her husband or her boyfriend. I didn't get that from the trailer, but, uh, yeah, she's with um, Javier Bardem in the movie. See, that it makes no like sense 50. to me. Who's married to Penelope Cruz? Oh my God, those two together, Jesus! What's that movie Gorgeous. they did together? Oh, the one with um, Scarlett Johansson. Oh my! Oh yeah, um, Vicky Cristina. No, no, that's not. That's not it. I think She's it is. Not in that. Is it Vicky Cristina Barcelona? I think so. What a movie! I haven't seen it. Is it good? Oh my God, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's really? very, very good. I really like that movie. Now, okay, so before we go on to the next topic, which I would like to discuss The Bachelorette if you're caught up. I am not. Okay. But. Yeah. I saw a little bit of a spoiler, so I will. Yeah. I'll go down that. I'll go down okay. that path with you, and it'll be a it'll be a moment of discovery for me because I'm not a hundred percent. We actually tried to watch it last night in the room, and because we're in Canada, the Hulu wouldn't work, so we couldn't watch it. Oh yeah, you. We can actually get it on- left a bar last night. I'm like, you want to go back to the room and watch a Bachelorette? John's like, damn right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? You could watch it on CityTV.com. <laughs> oh That's really? Wrong. That's where I'm getting the deets. Oh snap! Okay, I'm yeah, gonna do yeah, it tonight yeah. in the room then. But I guess we should talk about our second sponsor today, which is inc- incredible. Yeah, we've got two sponsors. We're really this, uh, we're really rolling in the sponsors. I love this. I know this is a milestone, so I want to give a big shout out to our uh, our second sponsor for this cast, which is Kind Bars. I what love is, Kind Bars. Me too, and uh, I'm this, not just saying that. I do love them. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not just saying that either because uh, what I love about them is that I get they're like my classic go to at the airport. Me too. Um, That's yeah, what I was gonna say. It's a great airport snack uh, because you know that you're not getting crap, which is hard at the airport. I mean, it's like that or like, I don't know, like some kind of popcorn. But it's like, it's all, yeah. these are at least like they're awesome. You know what's in them. Like you can actually see what the ingredients are that are in them. Oh, they're yeah. great. Let me tell you, you want to go on an airline or you want to go on the subway and you want to feel like Diane Keaton just like <laughs> ruling the world. <laughs> C- crack open a kind bar. Get a Seriously, floppy though. hat and a kind bar. But it's like, it's it's nice. It's like, it doesn't make you feel heavy. You're not like, ugh, what is this? You're just yeah. eating like a bunch of nuts and grains and it's nice. They're delicious. I really like the um, the coconut and almond ones and also the dark chocolate and sea salt. Those are my classic go-tos. That's what I was going to say because let me tell you, when you turn 30, goddamn, do you like a dark chocolate and a sea salt? Sure do. <laughs> yeah, man. Mix it up. <laughs> Give it to me. Especially like in the afternoon, like if you like need a little pickup before you actually have like your dinner or something, it's like that's a good little oh or even post you could have post. that afterwards oh and i have let me tell you <laughs> let so me tell good. you pre post during so Love here's it. what you guys get you guys can actually try you get 10 kind bars for which is not free nuts. all yeah. you have to do is pay for the shipping for it you get that sample box uh and you also get to try uh this you get to be part of the snack club where you actually receive monthly snacks at a discount and uh you get members only bonuses not bad huh it's great. So you just have to go to kindsnacks.com slash regular. So I'll say that again. Kindsnacks.com slash regular. Kindsnacks.com slash regular. Such regular. You want to be regular. So go to kindsnacks.com. You have 10 regular. of them. That's pretty great. I could have I know. Yeah, it's delicious. nice. It's well, yeah, like get, it's, get in there. Use our uh, thanks. Yeah, get in there. Thanks, Kind Bars, for helping us out. I mean, I've, yeah. it's really cool when you can partner with people that you actually like really enjoy their product. Oh, yeah. When I was talking to the people from uh, Kind, uh, they were like, oh, do you um, Glenn, like eat the right? bar? Shout yeah. out to Glenn. <laughs> Shout out to Glenner. Hi, Glenn. Um, but he, I was like, yeah, man, that's like a purse snack if I've ever heard it. It's not going to come undone. Yeah. <laughs> 
I actually always find them in my purse or just the wrapper of it. I always oh, find the, the wrapper. <laughs> the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I and then you pull it out and go, yeah, I'm healthy. So yeah, lean I've in. Been there and I've done that. Get um, in line. Step to it. Yeah, so check out uh, kindsnacks.com slash regular and enjoy your kind snacks. Yeah, just pay yeah. for that shipping, all y'all. Now, let's get into The Bachelor because, okay, okay this is spoilers, guys. You've been warned, so I you should like be cut up. I feel like everyone's caught up now except for me. Okay, so let me just, let's just jump in. She picks Brian. <sighs> Why? Okay, exactly. Here's the thing. So I was calling Brian from the goddamn get-go. Okay. And I she actually called him from the get-go, too, and then I changed my mind. To Peter. Yes. Because I, who doesn't love Peter? Peter's handsome, charming, gray hair, beautiful. And he was honest. So this was a yes. thing that um, he was super honest about things. And I don't know what had, I don't know what happened in the last episode. I haven't well, I'm going to, I'll tell you. Oh, okay. Well, tell me. No, you finish. Because I'm sure we're on the same path. But, okay. So. Oh, yeah. John and I were having a whole discussion. I've really okay. talked about him a lot in this episode. He owes me some kind of credit or a snack or something. He has a muscle tea at the very least. Something. <laughs> um, so him and I were watching it, and we had this whole thing when, he, like, when Peter said that he's like, "Well, when I'm getting ready to, when I'm proposing to somebody and we're engaged, that means like we're yeah. on the step to getting married." And uh, when she was like, "Well, no, to me that's just like another step." It's like, it's what like, are you no. talking about? It's the dumbest like, thing I've ever like heard. When you get engaged to somebody, it means like you're getting married to them. And you should, like, I know people want to plan a wedding, tra la la, whatever. And I yeah. understand that part of it. But as far as like uh, your commitment to somebody is the same as marriage, I think. Don't you think? No, no, it's okay. Absolutely. I am team Peter a thousand percent. Yeah. When she had that conversation, when he had that conversation with Rachel, I was like, is she so thirsty for a ring that she's just like willing to like j- just be with this, the first person that will give her one? And I was like, you're I better feel like than that, that was a producer note. I think that the producers think? were like, you have to get called the bachelorette. You have to get the ring. I feel like because she's not a stupid girl. Like, well, I, I feel like Renee, she was kind of made to say that. Renee, in the finale, Peter's like, I love you. I want to be with you. Like, I want to be with you. But we both can't, we both can't look at each other and say that we are ready to get engaged when we've only been on three dates. Do I, do I want to continue this with you? Absolutely. But I'm not ready to get down on a knee and give you a ring. And she's like, well, I want a ring. Like she, I think she wanted to be with Peter, but she just wanted a ring. So then, I think I feel like she probably wanted to be with Peter, and like I just think like with reality shows, they're like you can't be on the Bachelorette and not get, and you need the ring. That's what the show's about. Like I think there would have been an uproar if she did go with Peter and didn't get the ring. Do you think people would have freaked out? This is how. Okay, uh, no, I think everyone would have been like, yes. I think what should have gone down was they if she really wanted to be with Peter they should have been like go get her like a really pretty promise ring not a huge goddamn diamond sure. like, just like a promise ring or something yeah that's actually that's a good um, substitute I think and I would have swooned so hard but she was just like I want a ring and Brian's like yo I'll give you whatever who's already been on countless reality shows he has. What has he been oh, on? He was on this. He was on this um, dating show that someone sent me a link to. Um, uh, one of my uh, people from uh, the streams that I do for The Bachelor, and they were like, "Yeah, ba- Brian's been on reality before." And so sent me the link, and it's like, "I'm Brian." And it's like, "Ew." Oh, no. so I feel like. I mean, I get it. It's like they do castings for these things, and that's of course. Why, like. Even when we were watching um, The Bachelor and seeing Vanessa, it's like, oh, she's an actress and she has it like an IMDb. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that means anything. And they're still together, which I thought that they were Barely. Really? I, I, think, I think they're just together so they can promote like white strips. <laughs> teeth white strips. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Keep like your flat teeth tummy white teeth. And your never mind. I was going to say something rude. Never mind. <laughs> oh, uh, but what? yeah, I, I think they're to get, they have no chemistry. I think he liked Rachel. I think they wanted. I think they were like they wanted Rachel to be the bachelorette. And I think um, him and Rachel had chemistry. And but it was already said in the the cards that she would be the bachelorette. What was the other dude's name? The third, Eric, who uh, I loved. I didn't like Eric. I just thought Eric like. Like this show is not for someone who's like I've never been in love before, and it's like mm, sure this probably isn't for you. Yeah. Um. But like, spoiler, they're also fair warning not going to stay together. 
No way. No, no, no. No, no because <sighs> he seems, I mean, I know that's kind of been the whole thing. Is like he seems insincere and he's this, this, this. But like, he I is. just, I don't know. I feel like she's such a no nonsense kind of chick. But is by she, the way, she looked great in the whole show. They stunning. Whoever brought in her like stylist and gave her like a baby, baby makeover because she was gorgeous yeah. in The Bachelor. But like, she really was running a tight ship on the show. Oh, she looked amazing. Uh, half the clothes, I was like, I want to get that. A lot of it was from Zara, which is a Renee Young um, regular girl hot tip right there. Love. But the the only thing I will say from for her style that I wasn't a big fan of, and this just goes for life in general. Too much glitter on the eye uh, eyelids. There, I'm not. Not a big glitter. I like a matte eye myself. Matte eye, maybe a shimmer if sure. you feel. But her whole face by the end of the night would just be covered in the glitter that had fallen from her it, eyeshadow. Not a good look. Yeah, not, not and you know a what? good look. She's very. She looks so pretty with like that very natural makeup. Yes. There's a couple like testimonial things she did. I'm like, oh, she should keep her face like that. Because yeah. there was times that she had on. I think she might have even had on like a blue eyeshadow at one point. I'm not sure. There's something that was weird that I saw in. Oh yeah, the yeah, last yeah. I know episode, what you're talking about. But I don't know. And her um, strip lash was kind of sometimes a little too much. Yeah, that happens. Listen, I've, yeah. I've gone down that path. Um, how about, so I'm just, I will talk about this just because I am caught up on it from the like when they brought yeah. all, the like guys reunion show. Oh, man, how hard did the, did the singer songwriter just get buried? As as he should. <laughs> oh my God, he got toasted. When he I couldn't have a- saved himself even if he tried and no. not that he deserved to. He was a full blown idiot. But yeah, we're watching that and like this dude cannot, he's dead. Well, he got he got caught. I mean, got caught, but like he had put out like these like homophobic, like racist, sexist. like sexist t- tweets and and left them up. Yeah, and um, got caught. I was surprised when they were like, "And Lee will be on." I was like, "What a mistake for him!" Yes. Also, like, how is he going to get a job after that? Like, when you're like, I hope he never does. And like, if he had had like. I mean, he eventually did, like, apologize and whatever, but, like, oh. he just didn't handle it well. So it's, like, I don't know. He, he It was hard for him to save himself out of that. Well, that was ugly. And when you when we found out about what he had tweeted about, and then you saw him on the show specifically going for, like, Kenny, yeah. and and it was, like, uh, you're just a full racist, and... Yeah. And you really haven't learned anything. You're just which, you're just upset that we all caught on. It, which is crazy that like I guess he just wanted to be on the show, but it's like Rachel's black bud. Yeah, what are you like, thinking? I it ugh. and I'm like so you crazy. think anyone's gonna want to listen to your crap music? Absolutely not. Hell no, no ugh. effing way. Yeah, that guy. Ugh. He's so stupid. Um, so I just have they announced who the next Bachelor is going to be? No. So this is this is what I was gonna say. So. Um, after the final rose, Rachel just kind of goes in on Peter because there's talk that Peter might be the next bachelor, but it's like he doesn't believe in them. He doesn't yeah. believe in the process. And so she was like, I just don't think this is for you. This whole thing. You just need more time. And I was like, you're going to find out you need more time, Rachel. Yes. Everybody in the world should need more time. Yes. Why are you in such a rush? And I'm like, you're a lawyer. You're smart. You're beautiful. You're stunning. You are no nonsense. Why are you so desperate? That's why to be I just engaged? I really feel like the producers got in her head about it. I can't imagine she's that ridiculous. But I maybe think she, she is. I don't know. I think it was a producer being like, "That's what the show is. You want to do this or not, toots?" Yeah, I think she was like adamant. Like she was set in her ways. Like, um. I am going to be like, I'm going to like check off everything that is expected of me and do this. And I was like, you and Peter had amazing chemistry. Yes. Yeah. Why did you go with Peter? He was just so much more charming and together and like a human being. Like he was just a cool dude. Much like my theory with David Spade. I think I would be easily romanced (laughs) by Peter. (laughs) All of a sudden, Peter would take me out to pizza libretto and you know, my... Dreams. That's how dreams are put together. <laughs> My um, Forever 21 blouse to be up in the air, gone. <laughs> if Ken, I feel like Kenny should be the next Bachelor. I really like no, Kenny. No, Kenny. What? What, what? Why don't you like Kenny? I love Kenny. I, obviously, I'm slightly I, biased, but like. Yeah, because he's a wrestler. I, I thought he, and I thought his wrestling was decent. Here's why I didn't like Kenny. When, she, when Rachel was like, I choose you. Like, Lee's a psychopath. Like, I'm choosing you. Yeah. He was like, I got to go back and yell at Kenny. It's like, or I got to go back and yell at Lee. And he, like, got off the helicopter and, like, went and yelled at Lee. I was like, why are you being too much? 
I don't know when they brought his daughter out on the the tell all thing like I just think he's like I think he's got his shit together I think he's smart I think he knows how the show works too so I think he would like give them what they wanted I think he's like really yeah. well spoken he's ready to settle down with somebody he like I know he's got his thing with his daughter I think it should be Kenny and definitely not Dean I just think that like they first of all in the bachelor franchise this is probably why it won't be kenny he's a bit older he has yeah. a kid um he used to be a stripper uh who hasn't i know that's true <laughs> um <laughs> who doesn't like a man with a checkered past come on yeah i mean even i've dabbled you know just showing every a crowd my spanks just saying, i would this be could the be world's you. worst stripper i would be oh awful. i would be too pure I, garbage i would start doing like side commentary <laughs> about what's going on out there what's going on with me um, <laughs> i would pick the worst songs i'd just be like can i just like dj a set list or something <laughs> like you know uh, a friend that we both know used to be a uh a strip club a dj who <laughs> i don't know if i can say it i'll 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 reveal it next week if i ask them and they say but What's i'll tell you afterwards a strip club dj i think that's a that's a credible job I know. I thought stripper. it's the funny. Oh yeah, it's the best. I, I think I can guess who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a I've got a good guess of who I think it was. Okay, just say who it is. I I don't know if I'm right or not. Okay, I'll is just... it S Y? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Scott who is it? Yamamura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who I can no, see him doing it. No, not our friend it. Scott. Um. Yeah, our friend Andy was. He was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? When? I think his DJ name was DJ Proximity. Oh my! <laughs> when did this happen? Like back, back, early days, <laughs> That's, early days. What a nugget of information! But I think he only DJed for a couple, like, like a couple weeks. But he'd be like, "Coming to the stage is I just picture his like straight hair, like rocking back and forth <laughs> yeah. to the music, like while well, like. Strippers are just dropping it low and making it clap. Yeah, and funny enough, uh, if that, you like that story, he hosts uh, the Bachelor Pod. They host a podcast about the Bachelor, which we were just talking about. Oh, so give it a plug, can, guys! Give him a give listen. A He's great. If you'll hear his voice in the in this in the story, will just sound more ridiculous because he's like, "Hey, everybody." <laughs> you guys ready for a good time? Uh, also, Brendan's friend in high school used to go to the strip club uh, at lunchtime and eat the, <laughs> eat the lunch buffet and see if it was strip. <laughs> I've heard that from a lot of people. People are like, oh, the wings or whatever are always going to strip oh, club. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know about this. I feel I like they all would... <laughs> be tainted with vagine yeah but like why are why is it when did it become like i just had a stroke when did wings <laughs> become the selling point of a strip right club? let me tell you i used to work at second city and when you were like performing emotional scenes and you saw like a woman with like huge eyes like just in trance with you but eating chicken strips at the same time it really just took you out of it for sure 100 percent. you can't you cannot die. like you can't eat wings watching hamilton like, <laughs> not that those are, I mean, with Second City is one thing, but like as a stripper, But a Broadway not, show, you're like, out. You're but giving if, them literally all of you. If I'm, if my vagine's out and I'm dancing to Shania Twain's Who's Bed of Your Boots Been Under and, <laughs> and you are eating wings, I'm going to be really, really upset. I would be certain I'd be upset. It would take me out of my moment. Yes. Uh, it would not be all about me anymore, which when no. my vagine is out, it better be all about me. It's got to be all about you when the vagine is out. Yes. It has to. That's, Let me tell you. It's a regular a cool girl <laughs> fact. It's a regular girl fact. Hashtag regular girl fact. When the vagine is out, it's all about you. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a cool place in uh, LA called Jumbo's Clown Room. Oh, and what that, the fuck is that? I know. It is a strip club, but because they sell beer or booze, I guess like in, in California, if there's liquor, like they can't be super uh, nude. So um, what? a friend took really? uh, Yeah. Yeah, so a friend took me there, and there's beer there, um, which is super cheap, and so they don't get fully naked, so then all the strippers have, like, themes, which you know I'm in. What are their themes? Give me a, give me an okay. idea. One girl was, like, one girl was, like, um, like, a 1920s flapper, all in white, platinum blonde pin curls, like, furs. Cool. And then they're doing all these, like, pole tricks, and they're, like, up, and they're, like, doing splits upside down against, like, the ceiling, and... Wow. Um, yeah, and then they have classes, so I went, I think, to a graduation night, where it's, like, all these women who were, weren't actually strippers were learning burlesque. 
Oh and I was my like, god, how fun. I know. I was like, I want to host that night. I've um, actually thought about taking like a burlesque class just as like something to do. It'd be fun. I think it would be super fun. I actually saw I, it popped up um, on like an, it was like a, for some reason, I like to watch hip hop dance videos on Instagram. Oh yeah, um, we could break those down. I have a few favorites. I love them. Yeah, they're great. They're great. Um, but I, when it like, when you hit like the like, the ones that are recommended to you. There was like a burlesque dance thing in Toronto that seemed really great. Really? Yeah. If I had more time, I was like, oh, shoot. I mean, I'm sure I can find like a cool one in Vegas. That's like, the oh, you thing, would right? find, you would find a great one in Vegas. Also, you should check out. I guess Dita Von Teese is never there, but next time she's there, if you're there, oh, you should go that, check I her out. I would totally go see Dita Von Teese do her thing. I would die. My, yeah, here's my issue with the burlesque. If you, let's just say you and I took this class. I first of all, I would have to take a class with no one I knew because Me the too. second they'd be like, "Let's show each other what we've learned," and I make eye contact with someone I know, I'm dead, uh-uh. dead and done. Yep, dead and nope. done. R I P. My life. <laughs> my life. Obviously, I would flutter R-I-P. off into the outer world, and that would be the end of it. Oh yeah, that's why it's like already. I was like, oh, if I took this Jumbo's clown room class, <laughs> it sounds like that sounds fun though. Like I think, yeah. So yeah, if I had to go, like, say I really hit some hard times, and I was like, I guess I'm just gonna go be a stripper sure. to try to make yeah. some extra cash. I would have to be in a character to really do it. Oh yeah. Oh, if I was just absolutely. like, here comes Renee, whatever my name is, <laughs> it would be a real shit fast like i would be laughing maybe i'd start crying my body form would change It'd oh yeah be all bad i just feel like maybe my character would be like oh busy mom coming home so i had bags full of groceries <laughs> my hair would be tousled you know busy I'd, mom <laughs> yeah. yeah you know i'd you know i'd try and get in a quick snack before the kids get home and then all of a sudden my clothes come off and it's nuts i think i would go as like a magician's assistant <laughs> <laughs> but that's already that's already a sassy lady <laughs> oh right we got we got to brainstorm this. I like I I really have a thing with magic. I love a good magic show. <laughs> oh, I live God. for that shit. I love I, it. I really want next time if we ever get this, we need to go to like the Magic Castle or something in LA where they do magic in front of you and I need to be with you so I can be like this is insane. Absolutely not, sir. Nope. I would be into it and I would mean you would end up in an argument. I think you're ruining the magic of the magic. <laughs> no, Let the magic be its thing. Like, listen, if I went to like a David Blaine show, I'd be like this is crazy like Oh my god! But like my concern with magic is like when it's like right, it's done right in front of you. Sure, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too much. We saw David Copperfield, and he was great. I bet you that'd be cool though. What is he? The modern day. I don't know. He's got oh, some you weird tagline, but... Th- this is my thing. It's just like, if I was walking down the street and Chris Angel Mind Freak came up to me, <gasps> I'd be like, absolutely not. Oh, I'd be no. into it. I'd be like, absolutely yes. And he just floats away? Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, he holds his breath and floats away. <laughs> now, give me a pen and teller. Look, we got a little bit here. This guy doesn't talk. And look, this dove came out of my hat. Pen and teller are supposed to be really great live. You've never seen them? No. You live in Vegas. I know, but you know, it's, we do no Vegas things. None of them. Right. Like, okay. I know we need to start uh, going out and doing more Vegas things because we just really don't. We're like, uh, and anytime we're like about to do something, we're like, you want to just order sushi and sit in the backyard? Yeah, of and we course. just do that. Um, but, but I know they're right there. They're just down the street. I've also still been dying to go see this Prince tribute show and I haven't gone. <gasps> That'd be incredible. Yeah. I know it looks like it's like it looks like it's perfectly like awfully bad you know I love those yeah I'm dying it's in like a weird little venue like I really am dying to go see that oh yeah well thing that I want to do yep 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 yep, great what are things I want to do eat some pizza um figure out my strip uh, stripper persona yep. and um just kind of live my toronto life that's what i want to do well you're living that toronto life and Thank i got a, a good taste of it this week um and i we did have we came to like a good conclusion that like we can easily just spend more time in toronto every now and then oh is that what you and john decided well, we were just talking about he knows how much I love it here. And I think he got like it. I think he really um, understood what I mean when I say that, like, I miss Toronto and I miss like that city. Yeah. Thing. He just can't get over like that. It's really expensive to live in an apartment here. That's a tough pill for him to swallow. Well, yeah. He would never like, want to live here. But like we could visit mean, for extended times. Yeah. and But it, the thing is, it's like and maybe just because we're from here that we feel that way. But it's like it's it, it is an odd like community like because you are the city's not really that big 
No. You know what I mean? That people are like really nice and kind and you can find like your little spots and <clears throat> it is crazy expensive. Our apartment that we got in se- we move into September is crazy. It's ridiculous. Really? Yeah, the fact God. that we didn't find that we're not living in a basement is like a goddamn miracle. It's so nuts. Yeah, my brother's trying to like sell his house and it's like that's been a real shit storm too. I think the market's oh, yeah. just been all crazy. Yeah, it's insane. But I hope that you guys come back. Yeah, oh we definitely will. I mean, we're gonna have to. I was like, this this is your home now, darling. This is uh, part oh. of your life now. Part of your life. Look, Same look with Cincinnati. I, I really like Cincinnati. Cincinnati's a cool little city. Oh, really? I've never been. Yeah, I just feel like I feel like your your um your new marriage has just been solidified with this family excursion. Yeah, of course. I mean, he's got to meet most of my family, but it was cool. He got to like meet my meet my grandfather and like just spending time in Toronto and just like to get to like the fact that he's like, hey, can we go up to the horseshoe? I'm like, you're into See, Toronto, that's nice. buddy. That's nice. <laughs> I told Brendan, I told Brendan, my parents uh, and I were getting in an argument and then Brendan joined in and I was like, we're officially married now. <laughs> oh, like, that's Brendan awesome. Brendan yelled at me. I was like, yeah, and you deserve it. She's like, I know. <laughs> Who yelled at you? Bre- uh, I, my parents and I, we when we talk, we talk very loud, so it just sounds like a communal argument. Where I'm right. like, I'm like, nobody said that. What are you talking about? Who said that? And then Brendan's like, nobody said that, Debbie. And she's like, okay, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, I man, was like, you guys now, are on the same side, family, family style. I know, but I was like, in that moment, I was like, I guess we're just officially married now. Yeah. Now that it's like the families have just like to the point where you can be like, enough. Totally. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. I haven't done that yet, but it's going to happen. Oh, it'll, ha- it'll be awesome. Oh, I, I can't would wait. Do that. I think he would do that to my mom if my mom was tripping out. Yeah. And that's 100%. That's, when that happens, you're going to just be like, we're married. Damn. <laughs> oh, well, Actually, there was a point. I think this was maybe even before we were married. Uh, my mom and I were arguing about something because she can be a little bonkers. Uh, and he's like, just have her deal with me he goes because i know how to handle carol and it'll be fine i just oh. send her my way and I, i've done that a few times and it's great because he just he handles her better than i do that's so nice yeah it's great I'm like oh, per- perfect great. you can go be like the bearer of bad news or like put her in her place because if i try to put her in her place she thinks i'm being a bitch he doesn't yes. she's like okay whatever that's like, exactly that is exactly what happened and my mom's like sometimes you just have to hear it from someone else and i'm like go jump in a well debbie <laughs> <laughs> Go jump <laughs> without question. Oh, well, I think man. we really did it. I, I I wonder how my tone will come across in this podcast. As I am like sitting with like a bay, like Hudson Bay blanket, <sighs> rocking chair, so just good. like really it's having been very, a bit like, of a time. Rhythmic and calming for me to watch you just rocking <laughs> back and forth the whole episode. It's fantastic. I'm glad that you feel that way, and not that I'm like a psycho murderer. But no, um, I feel calm about it. I feel very thank soothed. You. No, thank you. Well, um, I'm gonna go slap a little makeup on my face. I'm gonna go yeah. see my mom and my aunt. Uh, Go and enjoy it. the last little bit of Toronto, um, but yeah, it's been lovely, and I'm I'm yeah I'm envious that you get to spend so much time here. Oh, buddy! Well, we're gonna see each other more now. Yeah, It'll be 100%, great, definitely. Um, so let's just uh, re- recap, recap, as recap. the the British say, they don't. Um, <laughs> just for uh, our two sponsors today, thank you so much to Chatbooks and Kind uh, Snacks for sponsoring the podcast. That's yeah. just uh, yeah. So again, if you guys want your uh, kind box you guys can go to kindsnacks.com slash regular again that's kindsnacks.com slash regular and uh the chat books link will be below but uh chatbooks.com slash podcast and our code is girls get yourself a book yes Make oh one. my gosh a book and a snack you guys you're basically fully welcome it's yes I, I made the vic and burger one and it's just a goddamn delight i said it last week and i'll say it again yeah, it's so, it's not it's it's, so fun. it's a beautiful thing to have. People don't print off enough pictures, so I'm make making that another a thing. one. Yeah, I'm making one from our road trip back to Canada, so it's gonna be nice. Yeah, we took so beautiful. many snaps. All right, so now do we do a Canadian ghost? Yes. Okay. Go. I can't wait. <clears throat> this is dedicated to the Queen <laughs> and Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Ooh. Honestly. Honestly, that's the best one that's ever happened. I know. If I felt it, I could feel it in my core and in my heart. Nope. And now we're grounded. Well, we'll see you guys next week. See you next week. Bye.